right, so I got this new trailer that I want to react to. I just seen this yesterday. It's uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. <laughs> I can never do the Harlem Shake. A bad boy story. So I guess this is a, a movie about Diddy and, and bad boy, how bad boy got started. Um, I know nothing about this. I didn't even know this was in production. I just uh, was scrolling through um, through YouTube and I see we have a trailer for it uh, actually from yesterday. So I haven't watched it yet. I'm about to watch it now, react for y'all, and let you know what I think about it. So let's get into it. Puff strikes me as the kind of kid who was hanging out with you and still thinking about the future. I know I want to be in the music industry. He was making music that was making the ground shake. Oh, this looks like a, this is a documentary. Okay, this is cool. I like documentaries. Still like, dude, I remember the day when Big died, man. Like, that's still, yeah, and that was like 20 years ago, man. And I still remember it like it was yesterday. What the? I like God, like, when God's light comes through, my life don't work like that. I can make anything happen. I think nobody's down with me. I've just been in action movies, gangster films, romantic comedies, horror stories. Who was that, me? Right, you know what? I'm excited about that because I love documentaries. I, you know what? I I prefer when it comes to stuff like that. I prefer a documentary over a feature film. Like for the for this Tupac movie, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna review it. But the that Tupac Resurrection um uh, documentary, I thought really captured Pac. I thought it really did him justice. And I think they probably should have stopped right there. Like I really. Didn't want a Pac. Oh, only way I wanted a Pac film, to be honest with you, is if John Singleton was doing it because Singleton knew Pac, and I think that he really could have told the story well. So I kind of feel Singleton on that. The fact that he wants to boycott the movie, and I was kind of siding with him. But I say, you know what? I'm as as a film fan, I'm still gonna watch. I'm curious to see what they did with it. But dude, I like I like that trailer, man. Like it didn't give you a whole lot, but you know you can tell it's really gonna go in depth about Diddy. And you know what? Say what you want about Diddy, love him or hate him, but listen here, man. I respect anybody that has, I mean, Diddy is a CEO, the man is a boss, he's making money, he has like, you know, and it's not just all about making money, it's like Diddy is doing what he loves to do, and he just happens to get paid from it very well, and I respect that, you know. And I'm not, I'm not one of his haters, like, I was never a fan of his music, I mean, honestly, as a hip-hop fan... I think Diddy can't rap for shit, but I do I do respect him as a mogul, as a businessman. Like the guy is a genius when it comes to business, and that's why he's worth so much that that he's worth. So I'm I'm just I'm intrigued by his story, and I'm I'm down. I want to check it out, man. Like I said, I love documentaries. I just watched that OJ documentary the other day, Made in America, and I thought that shit was brilliant. Like I could see why I won an Oscar. I haven't watched the feature film yet that they did. And I really don't care to watch it because the documentary gave me everything I need to know about OJ. So I don't care to see a portrayal of him from a filmmaker's view. I just like to see, when it comes to stuff like that, I like to see the facts. I like to see actual footage, you know. And so I'm, I'm down with this as opposed to doing like BET doing a movie on Bad Boy. And, you know, no diss to BET. Like BET did his thing with New Edition, which I'm still going to uh, review. But I'd rather a documentary. So... Yeah, I'm excited about that, man. And you know, every every time I see footage about about Big's death, you know, I, I mean, growing up in, in Long Island, New York, I was a huge Biggie fan. You know, everybody around the neighborhood was Biggie fans. You know, we was more so Biggie fans than than Pac. You know, even though um, I, I do love Pac, but at the time when the whole East Coast West Coast thing was going on, 
if if you did like the West Coast stuff, you had to be undercover with it because if you came if you came to school bumping Death Row or Pac, you probably got your ass beat, okay? Or you probably got this real bad. So um yeah, so excited about this man, excited about seeing Puffy's story and how you know his rise to fame. Like I love shit like that. I love uh, Rags to Riches stories. So um yeah, definitely checking this one out, man. I'm I'm down for it. Can't wait to see it. I wonder how you can watch it. Like, is it is this released theatrically, or is it going to be on Netflix or, or what? Like, you know, comment below. Let me know, or I just I just have to research it myself. So that was my reaction to um, the new Diddy documentary, A Bad Boy Story. Is that the name of it? Hold up. You know what? This is the second time in a row I don't forgot the name of the damn movie that um watching the trailer for. Okay, can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> I gotta do that every time I say that, but can't stop, won't stop, a bad boy story. So that's my reaction, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. As always, this is Rashad G signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.